Can you elaborate more on, on the laser and the ozone and, and how you use that and, and what types of procedures that's helpful for patients? Because I'm not sure in the U.S. ozone is quite, quite as, as common. Ozone, we use it in different forms. Uh, we use it in, in the gas form. For example, I use it after I clean a cavity, I use it to kind of fully disinfect and start the, the healing process, especially if it's a really deep cavity that I feel that the pulp is closed. Um, I use it, for example, in liquid form to irrigate, for example, um, period pockets or, you know, after uh, cleaning, I irrigate uh, with um, uh, ozonated water. And we also use it in uh, coconut oil, ozonated coconut oil. Um, I use it for gums, I use it for aftas, for even for patients that are um, working in remineralizing cavities or reducing risk of cavities. Um, we use it with uh, the floss as well sometimes. Uh, they dip the floss in the coconut oil, also native coconut oil, and then use it in the areas where they have lesions. So that is uh, basically ozone is a really powerful disinfectant and it's a healthy, clean disinfectant with no chemicals. So I use it in any possible um, moment that you will need to disinfect. And then our hygienist, for example, uses it in, in the cleanings, after cleanings to disinfect the mouth. And then she, um, she uses dental probiotics to kind of replenish with the good bacteria. So to kickstart our patients with um, good oral health after every cleaning.